uh, truck has to travel a distance of 400 kilometers at a constant speed. It traveled a tenth of the distance with the specified speed and stopped for 60 minutes to arrive at the destination on time. Okay, and stopped for 60 minutes. To arrive at the destination on time, it had to increase its speed by 60 kilometers per hour for the rest of the way. All right. Another truck took off from the destination and was heading in the opposite direction at the final speed of the first truck and stopped halfway for 100 minutes. If it takes the same time to reach as the first truck, what percentage of second truck's final speed is the first truck's old speed? So there's like a lot of data there. We have to uh, you know, understand, analyze this properly and then frame the equations. So basically he's talking about two trucks, right? The first truck has to travel a distance of 400 kilometers at a constant speed, right? It traveled a tenth of the distance. A tenth of the distance means one tenth of this 400 kilometers, right? A tenth of the distance, which means 40 kilometers, right? One tenth of the distance is 40 kilometers. One tenth of 400 kilometers, 40 kilometers with the specified speed, whatever speed was decided, right? Constant speed. Let us assume the speed was supposed to be S. So it traveled this 40 kilometers distance at the specified speed, which is S again, and stopped for 60 minutes. And in the middle, it stopped for 60 minutes. Somewhere it stopped for 60 minutes. Now, obviously, when you have stopped, you will take a longer time to reach the destination. But then to arrive at the destination on time, in order to arrive on time, it had to increase its speed by 60 kilometers per hour for the rest of the way. What is the rest of the way? What is the rest of the way, by the way? The rest of the way will be 360 kilometers. Understand. Why? Out of 400, 40 kilometers was covered at the specified speed. The remaining distance... 400 minus 40, 360 kilometers. And this remaining distance was covered at what speed? At an increased speed, which was, you know, 60 kilometers per hour more than the original speed. So can you say the new speed is S plus 60? Original speed is S. New speed is S plus 60. 60 kilometers per hour was the increment. Okay. For the rest of the journey. And by doing this, it arrived in time. Some time it had taken. Now, there is another truck. The second truck comes into picture. Another truck took off from the destination and was heading in the opposite direction. So, basically, the second truck started from the destination and was heading in the opposite direction. Which means it was coming in the coming towards the source. The, the point where this first truck started. So, another truck took off from the destination and was heading in the opposite direction at the final speed of the first truck. At the final speed of the first truck. Which means the second truck started at the final speed of the first truck. Now, can you tell me what is the final speed of the first truck? The final speed of the first truck is S plus 60. Understand, initially traveled at S, the final speed was S plus 60 when it reached the destination. So, can we say the final speed of the first truck is S plus 60? Yes. Which means the second truck, another truck which took off from the destination or which started from the destination was traveling at what speed? It was traveling at S plus 60 kilometers per hour. And this stopped halfway for 100 minutes. So, earlier truck stopped for 60 minutes, the first truck in the middle somewhere. This truck stopped for 100 minutes, right? The second truck stopped for 100 minutes. Now, what happens? If it takes the same time to reach as the first truck, if it here is what? It here is the second truck. Another truck here is the it. I mean, basically, it here represents the second truck. So, the second truck takes the same time. This is very, very important. Same time. This is the biggest uh, I mean, most important point of the question, I would say, if it takes the same time to reach as the first truck. So whatever time the first truck takes from the start to the end, it will take the same time for the second truck from its start to its end. Okay. What percentage of second truck's final speed? Remember, what percentage of second truck's final speed? What do you mean by second truck's final speed? Second truck's final speed we have already discussed is S plus 60 is the first truck's old speed. What is the first truck's old speed? Remember, first truck had two speeds, S and S plus 60. So, which is the old speed out of this? S is the old speed. So, basically, the question, you know, boils down to one simple point. S plus 60 is what percentage of S, right? S plus 60. What percentage of second truck's final speed? S plus 60 is first truck's old speed. X is what percentage of Y? X is what percentage of Y? X by Y into 100. Right? X by Y into 100. So, S plus 60 by S into 100. But to solve this, we'll have to find out what is S. Let's do that. How do you do that? Look at this point. Same time. The time taken by truck A is equal to the time taken by truck B. What is time? Distance by speed. 
time is equal to distance by speed. But the first truck did not cover the entire distance 400 kilometers in one shot. It covered it in two parts, 40 kilometers at s kilometers per hour and 360 kilometers at s plus 60 kilometers per hour. So time here can be divided into two parts. Time is equal to distance by speed. So 40 by s plus second distance 360 by s plus 60. Plus, remember, it also stopped in the middle for 60 minutes. Keep this in mind. 60 minutes is equal to 1 hour. I am directly converting it to hours. Because see, units are all standard, right? All the distances are given in kilometers per hour. 400 kilometers, 40 kilometers, 360 kilometers and so on. And speeds we are assuming are in kilometers per hour, let's say. I mean, of course, kilometers per hour only. This S plus 60, you remember, increased speed was given as 60 kilometers per hour. So if distance is in kilometers, speed is in kilometers per hour, the time should be taken in hours. So this 60 minutes that it stopped has been converted to 1 hour. 60 minutes is equal to 1 hour. So what is the total time taken by the first truck? It travelled 40 kilometers at S, so 40 by S. It travelled 360 kilometers at S plus 60, so 360 by S plus 60. And it stopped in the middle for 1 hour. This is the total time. This should be equal to the time taken by truck B. What is the time taken by truck B? Remember, the truck B travelled 400 kilometers at the same speed. See, at no point he has mentioned about truck B increasing its speed or decreasing its speed. It only says that it started from the destination, was heading in the opposite direction at the final speed. What speed? Final speed is S plus 60. Only thing is it stopped halfway for 100 minutes. Somewhere it stopped for 100 minutes. But its speed was S plus 60 throughout the journey. What is the total journey? 400 kilometers. So time taken by truck B. Time is equal to distance by speed. Distance is 400 kilometers. Speed is S plus 60. Plus, how much time did it stop for? 100 minutes. 100 minutes is equal to what? 1, 2 by 3 hours. Right? 100 minutes is 1 hour and 40 minutes. 40 minutes is equal to 2 thirds of an hour. So, 1, 2 by 3 hours. So, here, if I have to convert that to hours, I can say 1, 2 by 3. Done. One equation and only one variable. Can you solve for S from this one? Yes. Once you have solved for S, you can solve the remaining part of the question. You are able to follow. Now, try to solve it. I think what we will do is we will take 360 by S plus 60 and 1 on the other side. So we will get 40 by S. You can cut down the number of steps. I am just writing in detail so that all of you can follow. Now 400 by S plus 60. 400 by S plus 60. Minus 360 by S plus 60. Plus 1, 2 by 3. Minus 1. Which implies what? 40 by S equals to, look at this, 400 by S plus 60 minus 360 by S plus 60 is 40 by S plus 60. Plus 1, 2 by 3 minus 1 is 2 by 3. Right? Integer part and integer part gets cancelled. We are left with the fraction. Now solve for this. Solve for this. I think this quadratic equation has to be solved. You have to get the value of S. I mean, I, I don't have enough space. The question itself took half of the or more than half of the real estate here. So solve for S, whatever S you get, substitute here and then you have to do X is what percentage of Y, right? What percentage of Y is S? So S by S plus 16 to 100. You're getting it. What percent of Y is S? What percent of Y is S? What percent of Y is X? X by Y into 100. What percent of second truck speed is first truck's old speed? So S by S plus 16 to 100. That calculation has to be done. Shall I leave it here? Will you do the remaining calculation, remaining part of the calculation? Solve for S. I think let's not waste our time here. I'm sure all of you can do the remaining part. This will give you a quadratic equation. Maybe uh, S will not be an integer value. You'll have to evaluate that properly. Okay. Or, or let me just do the remaining part. I'm only worried about the space crunch that I have here. Let me cut down a few steps. So what do I get? Mm. Okay, so I'll say 40 into S plus 60 minus 40S divided by S into S plus 60 equals to 2 by 3, right? Uh, so 40S and 40S gets cancelled. We'll have 2400 into 3 divided by 2. So 3600, 3600 equals to S square plus 60S. So overall, I'll get S squared plus 60S minus 3600 equals to zero. That's a quadratic equation, right? I mean, that's how we cut down the number of steps. I mean, I've done it mentally. So if you're confused, write the intermediate steps as well. 
40 years, 40 years gets cancelled, 2400 into 3 by 2. So that's 3600. And this is S squared per 60S. Yeah, so solve for S from this, uh, for, from this now. Right, solve for S. What will be S? I think go for minus B plus or minus root B square minus 4AC by 2A. Looks like you'll get a, you know, third as the value here. But then do that calculation. I think some speed you'll get, substitute to get the answer. So S will be equal to minus B. So minus 60 plus or minus root over b squared, b squared will be 3600 minus 4ac, minus 4ac is minus 4 into minus 3600. So this will be plus 4 into 3600, that is 14400, right, 14400 divided by 2a, 2a is 2. Okay, now do this calculation. I'm sorry, this is like too congested and clumsy, but I have no scope to get more space here. So 3600 and 14400 is 18,000. 18,000 can be taken as 10 root 180. So minus 60 by 2 is minus 30 and minus 10 root 180 is minus 5 root 180. 180 is approximately what? Approximately shall we take it as 14 square root of 180. You know that square root of 180 will be between 14, 13 and 14, right? Square root of 180 between 13 and 14. Let's say 13.5. I mean, you can do an approx. Um, you know how to find an approximate square root, right? You can do that step if you want. But I mean, when I look at the options, I think I can do an approximate calculation and mark the answer. So let me take it as 13.5 approximately. So we will get minus 30 plus or minus. See, this was 18,000, right? So we got 10 root 180. 10 by 2 is 5. 5 into root 180. I am taking root 180 as 13.5. 13.5 into 5. How much is 13.5 into 5? 13 into 5 is 65, 0.5 into 5 is 2.5, so 67.5. You're getting it? Anyway, you know that speed cannot be negative. Minus 30 minus 67.5 is minus 97.5. Minus 97.5 cannot be the speed, so we have to take plus. So 67.5 minus 30, 67.5 minus 30 is 37.5. So we can say that, I mean the next step is here, that speed is equal to 37.5 approximately 37.5 kilometers per hour but then the question is not over here this was first part second part third part I mean uh, I mean I'm just trying to show you the flow so that you don't get confused now what do you have to do x is what percentage of y what percent of second trucks final speed so s plus 60 that means 97.5 you getting it 97.5 60 plus 37.5 97.5 and this is how much s so what percentage of 97.5 is 37.5? How do you do that? Are you getting it? This will be equal to 97.5. And this you know is 37.5. So what percentage of y is x? x by y into 100. So I think the answer will be s 37.5 divided by y 97.5 into 100. Do an approximate calculation. So this is like approximately 40, somewhere around 40. So cannot be determined is ruled out, 92.99 is ruled out, 12.52 is ruled out, 78.88 is also ruled out. I think the closest that I see here is 36.8. So option one is my answer. But it cannot be 36.8, it should be more than 37.5. Anyway, maybe here in this approximate square root, we have taken this as 13.5, right? Do a precise calculation, you may get a better answer. But definitely answer cannot be option 2, option 3, option 4 or option 5. So the obvious choice is option 1, 36.8. So we can say that the first truck's old speed is 37.36.8% uh, percentage of second truck's final speed. Okay.